Hey guys, Mason here and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you all, all of the locations of every single item that you can get for free in Wacky Wizards. So yeah, so let's get right into this. So first of all, let's start off with the Chameleon. So the Chameleon you actually get at this tree right over here, Volcano Event, nah. So this tree right here, and yeah. So all you do, go to is grab it, click teleport back to your cauldron, and there you go place it right there and yeah so actually for this one right here the egg cano you actually get this from participating in the volcano event so yeah, i believe you don't even have to like defeat the boss or anything just participate in the volcano event then once it's over you'll get it so so every like hour or two a thing will pop up on the side of your screen like just like a minute ago and ask you if you want to like participate in the event so all you gotta do is click yes Finish it, and that is how you get the egg cano. So yeah, next item is the can of beans. So the can of beans, what you want to do, go ahead and get some dynamite, toss it in there, grab that, and run over to this volcano right over here. You'll see this little cave entrance thing. So yeah, run up to it and use this potion. And then after like five seconds or so, you'll just like blow up. And yeah, just like that. So teleport back to your cauldron. Then next thing you want to do, let's go ahead and make a speed potion because I always use speed potions to get places faster. So I use that. Then go ahead and grab a giant ear potion too. So boom, giant ear. And now just run back over to the cave. So yeah, it's a no fly zone. So if you like try to fly at all, it will just instantly kill you. So yeah, so right here with the giant ear potion, just go ahead and toss it in there. To make this bigger so yeah then this will grow all the way over here and now what you need to do you need to make a shrink potion because see you're too heavy for this so go back over here back over to your cauldron and basically just toss in two fairies so one two just like that then go ahead and grab the potion and then run back over there all right now once you're over here go ahead and go to this platform right here go ahead and use it and boom, now you'll shrink down, you can jump on here, and it will lift you up. Now go ahead and jump on these things, and you just gotta do a little obby right here. It's super easy, so you just jump like this, go over here, jump, jump, and boom, there you go. There is is the can of beans, teleport back to your cauldron, and toss it down. Next one we're gonna look at is the dynamite. So the dynamite you get from this desert area, just right over here. So just go ahead and run over to the desert and go over to this little bridge thing. Then you'll see the dynamite right there, which I actually fell down and then somehow still alive. Yeah, so the dynamite right there, you just go ahead and grab it and toss it back in your cauldron. Next one is the pepper, the chili. So the chili, you also get this one in the sand area right over here. So just go ahead and run back over here and go to the edge right here by this little cactus. And just go ahead and walk behind it and you'll fall into this thing right here. And then just walk back down here. Then you can just do a little obby right here to go ahead and get it. Because the chili is right there. So this obby is pretty easy. Which I fell, but whatever. So you can actually use a fly potion or a swim potion in there to like just get past the obby. The next one is the spider potion. So for this potion you'll actually need to get small again. Not too small. Just like one to three fairies I think it is. So yeah, let's just go ahead and use three fairies just to be safe. And now let's go ahead and make our speed potion to get there faster. And now what you want to do, just go over into this cave right here with this little web. And go ahead and run past it. Go ahead and run all the way over here. Take a right, and then you'll see this another little web. Go ahead and run in here, and here is your spider. Teleport back to your cauldron, and there you go. The next one is the fish. So for the fish... Just go ahead and run in here into this little lake. And go ahead and swim all the way to this corner. Then go ahead and swim in this little hole all the way over here. So yeah, pretty much the same as the spider. Then you can go ahead and toss that down. And also for the gun, the gun you get that for free. Don't even think you have to do anything for it. So yeah, next one is the pet tag. We'll come back to the Robux in a little bit. Yeah, so for the pet tag... Just go over to this little uh, weird cave right here, and you'll just have to answer some questions. So yeah, so basically the answers are very left, very right, then this one, 
very left. Then how many eyes does Mr. Rich have? Very middle. And what is this? Crash landed, middle again. First live event and very left. There we go. And here is your pet tag right here. You can go ahead and toss that down. Next for the witch's brew. So for the witch's brew, run all the way over here, back over to the desert area. And over here, you'll see this little cave right here. So let's go ahead and run here. So yeah, basically you just need to talk to this person right here. Then they'll have like some quests for you, which you need to do, which they're pretty easy. I made a video on my main channel on how to do this. Basically, they'll need you to get like three or four items that you'll have to like find around the map. See, so like this one, I think they said a jellyfish, which a jellyfish would just be up here, I believe. And yeah, right here. So yeah, you can find them all over the map and stuff. You can look up some videos on where to find those. They're pretty easy, though, because once you talk to them, they give you hints like a lava flower that would be at the top of the volcano. And there's the bean person for the volcano event. So yeah. Next one is the honey. So for the honey, just run over to this little beehive right here. Go inside it and just grab this bee. Teleport back to your cauldron. Drain it and go ahead and toss this bee in here. There we go. Bee, go ahead and use it. And once you're a bee, you should make a speed potion because you fly super slowly. So, so just go ahead and toss some giraffe hoofs in there so you can go faster and get this like honey faster. So yeah, go ahead and grab this use it and basically what you want to do go ahead and fly into this little bee area on this giant tree it's just this little hole right here which you can only get in as a bee so drive through it and you might be a little bit glitched but yeah go ahead up here and go ahead and talk to this person and then basically what you need to do you need to go around the map and collect one of each flower like this flower right here basically run up to it collect its pollen run in here and fill this thing up yeah you gotta do that with every flower then once you do that honeycomb will, will appear so how to get the pollen for each flower go ahead and drive back out here then for each area see like right here here's this flower so you would go ahead run up to it gets pollen and then run back in there so yeah, they're kind of scattered around the map but like pretty sure there's a lava flower or something on top of the volcano there's a red flower over there some pink flowers over there so yeah so then for the next one is the parasite one so the parasite one this one is like one of the easiest ones to get just run over to this person the dumpster person and basically all you need to do is talk to him so let's go ahead and talk to him skip past all of this then just click uh okay he'll give you this cow head then toss it in your cauldron grab the potion and just drink the potion then just wait for a ufo to come and pick you up Alright, there's the UFO. It's coming over here. And there we go. It might take like a few seconds for the UFO to come. So yeah, then once you're over here, just run past all of this. Then you'll have to wait for him to scan you. Don't touch the red lasers. So yeah, the red lasers will appear right here. Just don't touch them. So yeah, just take your time if you need to. Me, I've done this so many times that I can just like run past this. So yeah, so let's go ahead and do this. Then this will all be go ahead and jump right here. And no, we failed. We gotta try again. And yeah, so basically for this, what you want to do, just jump on this steel bar right here, run past it. And then you can just do all these other jumps super easy. Yeah, that jump right there is the hardest. Now for these people, just don't get in the red lasers. This person randomly wakes up every now and then, so just watch out for that. You don't want them to see you. Then once you're over here, all you gotta do is click this self-destruct button. Which actually, never mind, you do need to be a cow to click this. So, yeah, don't do what I just did. So, yeah, you have to be a cow to click this, actually. So, yeah, so basically, you'll click it. The whole place will, like, shake and then it will, like, blow up or whatever. And basically, you'll respawn over this with this parasite in your hand, just like this. So, yeah, so for the next one, no, get, get back up. All right, so for the next one is the frog. So, the frog, basically, what you want to do. Just go over into this area right over here, just make it a speed potion. So this big area right over here, go ahead and run over there. And basically you'll see some trolls or whatever right here. And basically they'll just talk to this person in the middle, then just skip past all of this and stuff. And then basically they want you to make them food. And you have to make food for each and every one of them. 
I made a video on like which food you have to feed them on my main channel. So yeah, so if y'all want to find out which food you need to like feed them, just go ahead and search it up and you'll find it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this dude or this person in the middle, you have to like make yourself into the potion. And yeah, all the other ones are just easy. So for the next one is the boxing glove. Alright, so for the boxing glove potion, and I'm going to just grab an acceleration potion again. So basically, just go ahead and toss a chili inside the cauldron, grab it, and now just head over here to where you see these bushes right here. So, so just run up to the bushes and go ahead and use this potion. Then you can go ahead and teleport back to your cauldron. Go ahead and toss a ear into there. So ear, there we go. And now just run back over here. And basically, you just want to go down the stairs, do the little obby, and yeah. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. So run in here, go down the stairs, do this little obby right here. Pretty easy. And then right here, basically, you want to use this giant potion right here. Grab this key because you'll have to unlock this door unless you already done it, which I already did this, so I don't have to unlock it again. Yeah, so giant potion, unlock the door. Then you'll have to talk to this potion person right here and basically he'll need a special potion so just make yourself into a potion and then give it to him and then this path will appear so run across it talk to this guy and pick your team and then you'll respawn with the boxing glove ingredient all right then for the last ingredient the robux ingredient so basically how you get this ingredient you just gotta fight the cyclops like cyclops invasion in 45 minutes so whenever it happens, just defeat him, grab the cyclops eye, then run over here, all the way inside this house, and just give it to Oz, and then he would give you the Robux ingredient. But yeah, so that is how you get every single ingredient in Wacky Wizards though. So that's going to be all for this video, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see y'all in the next video.